When we talk about stress, we often think that it's caused by big life-changing events, but stress can also be caused by a buildup of small pressures in life. Waking up to a pile of dirty dishes day after day, seeing the junk mail slowly accumulate by the front door, always running out of printer ink and paper when we're in a time crunch to get something done. I know I might sound silly to stress over these seemingly meaningless situations, especially with everything that's going on in the world right now, but these non-stop strains of everyday life can add up until one day it'll sneak up on us and we won't be able to ignore it anymore. I've come to terms with the fact that some days will be more difficult than others, but that also doesn't mean that we need to give up and just wait around until we start to feel the stress take a toll on our emotional and physical well-being. I found that there are habits and systems that we can put into place to minimize these small stresses in life, because we all know that we don't need to add more things to our list of things to worry about. My first suggestion is to find a way to balance your day. Like everything in life, we need harmony, and this applies to how we spend our days as well. I noticed that I used to dedicate 80% of my time to work and 20% for my personal life. No wonder I was always feeling burnt out. I had to find a way to rearrange my day to work less hours without feeling guilty or feeling like I was falling behind. I don't know if you guys can relate, but I noticed that I made up a lot of these arbitrary rules in my head. I mean, no one was telling me to work overtime or to reply to their emails as soon as possible, but it was out of habit. And over time, it left me prioritizing work over everything else. Now I try to schedule my days and my weeks to reflect how I actually want to spend my time, because how we spend our days is how we spend our lives. This means scheduling meetings, but also date nights, family dinners, self-care days too, because what goes on my calendar gets done. Of course, this is much more difficult if you don't have full control over your own schedule, but the least that we can do is to look at our calendar and find a day, or even just one hour of our day, to schedule some time to have fun, relax, and detach from our responsibilities. My second suggestion is to find mindful practices that work for you. When I decided to incorporate more mindfulness into my routine, I eased my way into it with five minute guided meditations, daily walks, journaling prompts to guide my writing. While these are great methods to help us to be more present, now I know that mindfulness doesn't have to be a specific activity. It can be as simple as taking a moment to be mindful of the small everyday pleasures. Maybe for you it's gardening, turning off your phone when you're eating, cuddling with your dog on your couch, or just taking a small break to listen to the rain. Whatever helps you to connect with the present moment, do it and do it often throughout your day. These pockets of mindful moments act as a reminder for me not to worry about the future or to feel anxious about the past, but to pay attention to the life that's going on all around me. I'm a perfectionist, not with everything I do, but I do have high standards for things I truly care about and creating these YouTube videos is one of them. During the editing process, I find myself making endless little tweaks, going over the tiniest details that no one other than myself can probably notice in the final production. Making sure that the font is the right size, the skin tone is perfectly saturated, that the song transitions are seamless. While I don't think there's anything wrong with caring so much about what I produce, Trying to live up to this unrealistic expectation week after week created an unnecessary stress to my life. 
It forced me to constantly look for mistakes, and I never felt quite satisfied. Having this mindset felt absolutely exhausting and took the fun out of the creative process altogether. I know it's just a perspective change, but now instead of looking for my flaws, I see my improvements and my growth. I even set a rule for myself that I will publish a video when it's 80% quote perfect and even if I make a mistake, it's okay because I can try again next week. One of the biggest reasons I get stressed is when I feel overwhelmed with everything I have to do. Too often, I would feel anxious, procrastinate, and end up not doing anything at all. But I realized that a lot of this was due to not knowing how to properly manage my time and not being able to get over the hurdle of just starting. This is why I find the five minute rule to be so effective, to get rid of the unnecessary everyday stress. I look at all the list of things I need to do and decide which tasks need my uninterrupted attention and which tasks I can tackle with the five minute rule. Five minutes doesn't sound intimidating, right? And I think that is why it's so effective. This is not about cramming more and more into our day, but it's a way to push through so that we have less things on our to-do list and it takes a load off of our minds. So the next time you are feeling overwhelmed with your list of things to do, don't dwell on it. Just give yourself five minutes to start crossing off some things off of your list, and you'll be amazed at what you can do in such a short amount of time. Lately, when I find myself stressing over a situation, I started asking myself, is this something even within my control? That doesn't make the situation go away, but it has a powerful effect on easing my mind. The Stoics believe that we have very little to no control at all. We can't control what happens to us, what people say about us, other people's actions, the world and its problems, and if so, why are we more than willing to spend our time and our energy trying to solve it like it's our own problem? The more that I try to control everything around me, the more anxious I feel. And I don't want to go through life carrying this heavy feeling. So I'm trying my best to accept that some things will always be the way that they are. But what I can do is focus on what is in my control. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new here, my name is Sophie, and I would love to have you join our minimalist and intentional living community. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel for more similar videos. Thank you guys always for tuning in and I'll talk to you next week. Take care guys.